So to a new scientific survey that has detailed the decline in the ability of Antarctica's southern ocean to absorb CO2 emissions. What role do the oceans play in helping protect us against global warming? Well, like the rainforest, Antarctica's southern ocean is one of the most important carbon sinks in the jargon. It basically acts as a giant reservoir. Together, they remove half the man-made emissions of carbon dioxide, acting like a huge sponge in trapping carbon from the atmosphere. Now, since the beginning of the Industrial Revolution, the world's oceans have absorbed about 25% of this amazing figure of 500 gigatons of carbon, which is emitted into the atmosphere by the action of human beings. However, in each decade since 81, the Antarctic Ocean has soaked up between 5 to 30% less of the greenhouse gas than the experts has predict predicted. The trend graphs, we seem to be drawing a new line here. The decline had been expected by climate scientists, but it appears all to be happening in a time frame 40 years ahead of schedule. Worrying indeed, the result could mean that atmospheric carbon dioxide levels may be much higher in future than predicted. Well, to tell us more, Ian Tattersdall is a climate modeler from the Met Office Hadley Center in Exeter. Ian, uh, this is alarming, but what conclusions do we draw if your expectations are now 40 years out of date? I think we can, uh, we, we've been expecting something like this to happen for, uh, in, in our models sometime during the 21st century. Um, it's a little surprised and, and worried to see it happening quite so soon. Um, the, 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 the mechanisms are well known, uh, are well described in, in this new study by uh, Le Carre and her co-workers. Um, they are showing that more, more water that already holds a lot of carbon dioxide is being brought to the surface by stronger winds. And that is, that is, that is um, getting back into the atmosphere, so it's counteracting the, the natural uptake of, uh, of the oceans uh, of carbon dioxide. Is there anything we can do? I mean, in one sense, I suppose, you say, God forbid, human intervention in all this. Is there anything we can do to make the ocean a more efficient absorber of CO2? Um, nothing significant, really. Um, uh, what we can do basically is, is tackle the root cause of, of, of climate change and, and the emissions of carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. Anything else is, is not, really, um, not, not really going to uh, have the right magnitude of effect and it's, uh, it's not attacking the, the, the root cause. But it does mean that the natural way that the Earth had got off of recycling this or absorbing this CO2, uh, even that capability, we're running short of that, does that give us a new urgency to stop producing as much CO2 as we have in decades past? Yes, yes it does. I mean, our, our predictions for, for, for the 21st century were already quite alarming with um, two to five degrees of warming predicted. Um, and this, if this shows an acceleration, then maybe we will have to take action uh, even more urgently. With what degree of importance do you... Uh, you know, a tribute to that cry for action. I mean, it's all very well world leaders going around talking about these matters. Is there going to be a consequence of us doing nothing? The well, consequences have been, have been shown quite clearly in the, re in the recent IPCC report. Um, they've been showing the effects of, of warming, of changes in uh, rainfall patterns, um, and, and th this will affect many people around the world. Um, so th th Maybe this study would push us towards the upper end of those predictions rather than, rather than in the middle. It's, it's, it's too soon to tell, tell any firm predictions on that. But this is, this is an alarming um, study that has been released now. Okay. 